Hi everyone, Dan here. I wanted to show you some of the UI or the user interface improvements that we've added to Photo Raw 2019. Let me give you a quick tour. First off, you'll notice that the overall user interface is a cleaner, more subtle representation of your image. We've reduced a lot of the fine lines and borders that define the different areas in the user interface. This gives it a more modern and clean look. You'll notice that these scroll bars have reduced in size so that you can use more of your screen and less for taking up those scroll bar controls. There's a lot of other subtle improvements as well, like there's a new font that's easier to read. We've also added the ability to label your folders with colors inside a browse. This is really handy for keeping track of where a certain folder is within your workflow. So if I wanted to add a red label to this folder, I can just simply right click, select color, and I can add a color label to it. You'll see the label here inside of the folders pane, or if I go back to grid view, you'll also note color labels right here when you view a folder inside of grid view. Another improvement that I think you're all gonna enjoy are keyboard shortcuts to go to different modules. Let's say I wanna go to the develop tab inside of the edit module. I can now simply press the D button on my keyboard and it'll take me straight there. When I right click, you'll see those same keyboard shortcuts right here to help you remember. Inside of edit, you'll notice that the sliders have been updated as well. It makes them a little easier to read and the new round handle in the middle makes it easier to grab and adjust those sliders. When you're inside of effects, we've also made it easier to pick out which filter you want to use. We've added two helpers. One is in the filter styles tab. When I mouse over a category, I'll see a preview that represents what that category of filter does and tells me a little bit about when I would use a different filter. We go beyond that over here on the right hand side when I click the add filter button, you'll see a similar dialog which lists all of the available filters. Again, when I mouse over those, I'll see a preview and some information about when and where and what kind of photos I'd like to use it on. And there's a search field, so it's easy for me to go and find something. Let's say I'm looking for a filter that's going to blur. I can simply type in blur and it'll find all of the blur filters for me just like that. Another subtlety you might notice is that when this little dialogue came up, it darkened the main window behind it. You're gonna see that in a lot of places as well. For example, if I want to go to export, it'll darken the frame behind the export dialogue. And that works the same for tethered shooting or import or HDR or pano. Any of those operations where a dialogue comes up on top of the main window will darken behind it so you know which window you're working on. It just makes it a little easier to get around. And last but not least, the organization of the tool well has changed a bit as well. I'm just gonna add a simple black and white filter so I can illustrate this point. I'm gonna close my preset drawer. You'll notice over here on the left where the tools live, you now have a unified set of tools when you're in the edit module. It doesn't change depending on which tab you're on. So the crop tool will always be there. The masking tools will always be there. The text tool will always be there. They'll just turn on and turn off depending on what you have selected. The other thing you'll notice is we've now grouped the tools that are related to each other into a tool grouping. For example, if I'm doing retouching, I can click on the fix tool and I still have access to the perfect eraser, the retouch brush, and a clone stamp tool. You just select them from the tool options bar rather from the tool well. This makes the list of tools on the left shorter and it makes it work better on smaller screens. Of course, you can still use the keyboard shortcuts for changing tools as well, and it will remember your last tool. So if you happen to use the clone stamp tool all the time, when I select the clone stamp tool, that'll be the first one that'll be selected when I click on fix, for example. The same thing works with other tools, like when I click on mask, you'll notice that there's the masking brush and the gradient tool or the masking bug are located up there in that tool options bar as well. All right, that's just some of the user interface improvements that we put into Photo Raw 2019. We hope you find it easier to use and more beautiful to look at. Thanks for watching.